what is up YouTube it's your girl Lil Burp back at you with another unboxing video um today we are going to be doing the super chewer bark box um hashtag super chewer whatever and I'm very excited for this uh the dogs have their own issues with toys uh Balor is a destructive chewer I would say um he, I think he was weaned a little too early, and he has like an oral fixation issue, and he likes to destroy all soft toys, take the fluffing out, eat the fabric, um, rope toys, he just eats the rope, and so that's his issue. Um, and Humphrey is, you know, he's a giant schnauzer, he's 100 pounds, so he has an extremely strong jaw, and he just breaks through toys. Uh, unintentionally um, what I usually I usually get them toys like these with the little nubs on them so they're like you know cleans their teeth and helps massage their gums for less plaque Balor is I have like I put, try and keep their toys in a little basket and Balor's trying to get his favorite toy out which is a rock um, I don't try to encourage him playing with rocks, usually, because I'm really worried about his teeth. But it's just his favorite. This is his favorite one. Um, he's always played with them since he was a puppy for some reason. Even though we have a basket full of toys, I buy them toys constantly. But rocks are the best toy. Um, so yeah, I like to get them. These ones, these are just like from the front of the pet store. They're like $5 usually. Um, but Humphrey breaks the squeaker and then I get worried about the squeaker because the squeaker is like a harder plastic. I get worried about the sharp plastic stabbing through the softer plastic and like stabbing them in the gums. Um, so these toys are good while they last but they don't last very long. And we have these, they each have their own of these, it's a Kong product and unfortunately Humphrey it is a really good plastic and nice and hard and thick but Humphrey broke through the squeaker again and now Balor has started chewing through the plastic so these ones gotta go and so that's why I decided to finally just check out these um, subscription dog toy box things that everyone's been talking about I decided to go with the Super Chew or the Bark Bark Box brand, as opposed to the Bully Make brand, because um, the Bully Make I don't, it's a really stupid reason. Well, and the price. Um, the Bully Make one was gonna cost thirty nine dollars a month um, for three for three toys and three treats or two toys and four treats it can vary from month to month and that is the reason why I went with the bark box is because it comes every month two toys two chews and two bags of treats and I just wanted them to each like have their own toy every month and like for it to be a certain thing and yeah that's why I chose it and then the super chewer box it's um it is $29 a month. Ballard, can you please not eat things right now? Um, yeah, it's $29 a month. The And they also do the regular Bark Box, which isn't for super chewer dogs. as like plush toys. Um, those ones start at $22 a month. So, I guess if Humphrey will come over here. Oh, he has their favorite toy right now that I actually really loved. But it is in their, it's in the PetSmart um, Halloween line for some reason, even though there's nothing like festive about it. There's, it's not Halloween themed. Um, but I, it was the second one that I've already bought, and I'm sure they're going to discontinue selling it soon. Um, Humphrey just, he broke the squeaker in it, and it also had lights in it. So the fact that there's lights in it, they come out the squeaker hole. And I don't want them to be eating electronics, but they absolutely love this toy. And it was perfect because it was long, so they could both play with it at the same time, like a rope or anything else like that. And I, that's really good for them to play with. But anyway, so I guess we're just going to get into it if they'll come over and join me. Humphrey, give me. Give me, Humphrey. Oh, here comes Val. Humphrey, 
Do I have to say Balor? Is are we doing name swap? Come here, come here. You can bring your toy. Oh, thanks, Valor. Good boy. Come here. All the way. Come here. Good boy. Okay. Yeah. So this is the toy that they both have been in love with this Halloween season from PetSmart, and it was only seven ninety nine, which is like, I don't know. Dog toys are really expensive. I buy mid-range ones and I guess now I'm gonna see if these ones are fancy and worth the money um Valor <laughs> so I don't think I that's the only thing about the um super chewer that I'm not like into or not, I don't know not into or I'm not excited about is I don't think that they're themed like the other uh bark box is so I bought this in October and it would be cool if it was Halloween themed, but I don't think it is. So there's a little welcome pamphlet here that kind of tells you what they're all about. A little cute guy right there. So blah, 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 if you want to pause and read that, there's stuff on the back. I thought this toy was so freaking cute. Valor's getting into the box right now. Um, I think this was like in a Viking box, which was super cool. Um, so yes, before Valor steals anything from here, there's also like a top card thing. And I think that's the theme for this one is Big Game Fetch, which is like a boring name, not Halloween. But anyway, let's get into it. Okay, so let's start with this toy. It looks to be, so it's called an arrow football. And I think it might be, you put the treats, it has little holes in it. So I think you put the treats in there, which I've never done that with them. Um, but I am willing to see if they're into it. Balor is extremely food motivated. Um, like if they had love languages, Balor's would be food, Humphrey's would be uh, physical affection. Humphrey doesn't really care about food too much, but Balor is obsessed with food. So this toy, it's for medium to large dogs, 20 pounds and up. Uh, Balor is a solid 42 pounds, so he fits that range. And so you can add another toy um, each month in your box for an extra $9, both uh, BarkBox and BullyMake offer that option, and we don't need that, obviously. We just need the two. <laughs> so it shows you the features, foam core, tough rubber layer, glow-in-the-dark, dishwasher safe, BPA-free, whoosh whistle, oh, so it's not for treats at all. Soft whoosh sound every throw designed to perk your dog's interest, not intended for treat dispensing. Good thing I read it first. Who knew we had to read toys? Instructions. Uh, Supervise your super chewer. This toy is not 100% indestructible. If your dog breaks a toy into smaller pieces, it's time to take it away. Supervise play equals safe play. Treats for eating. Toys not eating. Blah, blah, blah. 100% happiness guaranteed. If you're not happy, send it back. Okay, so Valor, can you bring him up back? Come here. Come here, Valor. Come on. Bring it here. Are you going to bring it? Come here. Hi, Humphrey. Hi, Humphrey. Do we need to get you a toy? Humphrey, I mean, Valor. <laughs> Come here. Bring it here. He got up. He seems to like it so far, Humphrey. Are you jealous? He wants this second toy. So the second toy here is a ball inside some like nylon fabric it feels like. It is the flag on the play ball. How freaking cute is that? What a cute name, Humphrey. What a cute name. Can you sit down real quick though while you look at it? So this one, flag on the play for medium large dogs. Uh, the features are crinkle, ballistic nylon, and natural rubber and there's a squeaker so what does that say spiky ball um so it'll be interesting to see if Balor choose the 
um, nylon off and gets down to the actual ball. Um, so Humphrey, hey, hey, are you sad that Valor has a toy? Your toy's right here. Here, let me take this off. Here. Hey. No, Valor. <laughs> so where's the crinkle? The crinkle is up and down these. Humphrey, take it. It's for you. I want to see if you can squeak it. Can you squeak it? Oh, backing up. Oh, backing up. Beep, beep, beep. Okay. All right, so they switched toys, and Humphrey has the little football. Balor has the other one. Humphrey is contently chewing on it, even though the other one has the squeaker in it. And I really want, because I couldn't squeeze it to make it squeak, so I really wanted to see if it actually does have a squeaker. I'm sure his strong jaws could do it. And then, so Balor's probably trying to chew off the nylon on the other one right now. But we are going to keep going through this box. This is, I don't know what this is. It's like a jerky kind of stick. Mad about chew. Lilith, what is happening with these animals right now? Oh, okay. Humphrey has the other one now. Valor couldn't make it squeak. So Humphrey has got it. Hi, bug. So, yeah, now he's back because it's food. Huh, food's your favorite. And the cat's messing with stuff. Um, so, yeah, mad about chew. Um, it is made in the USA pork dog treat. The ingredients are pork, pea flour, chickpea flour, tapioca flour, brewer's yeast, bacon, molasses, natural bacon flavor, lactic acid, and citric acid. Um... It says supervision recommended. Feed <laughs> Valor. Hey, hey. Patience, my friend. Supervision recommended. Feed to your dog as a treat or snack in limited quantities. Always monitor your dog when feeding. Not intended as a meal substitute, no matter what your dog says. Um, so that looks like a treat. Okay. The other one. Oh, that's like a chew. There it is. Is. Man. Oh, Humphrey's really liking that toy over there, Balor. Jones Natural Chews Crunchy po Crunchy Porky Porkly Links. One pack. Um, no artificial ingredients, not for humans. Oven baked, satisfying chewing urges. Directions for use, feed as reward. Ingredients, pork. rye flour, salt, liquid smoke flavoring. So, rye flour is a type of grain which both of the BarkBox and Bully Make brands, they both advertise as completely grain free. So I don't, unless I'm mistaken and it's a different rye, but so we'll see. I'm sure Balor will be fine with it. Um, Humphrey is the one who has more issues with grain. Balor has more issues with chicken. And you can select that as like a sensitivity um, when you're signing up for the subscription. So that's really nice. Um, I think they do differ in what you can choose. Um, but it wasn't a too big of a difference. So the first bag of treats are going to be pork recipe dog treats. I think, so Super Chewer makes, or BarkBox makes a lot of the treats themselves and looks like these ones are by BarkBox. Um, wheat free, coin, corn free, soy free, grain free. So these have pork, tapioca starch, yellow pea powder, vegetable glycerin, potato starch, pea starch, dried ground chickpeas, Natural bacon flavor, kale flakes, lactic acid, salt, natural smoke flavor, cane molasses, mixed tocopherous, 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 mixed tocopher. I don't know what that is. I'll have to look into that and like put something up for it, I guess. Um, and dried cultured skim milk. 
So I'm sure Balor will absolutely love these. Um, they have a chewy to crunchy meter on them, which is kind of weird, but cute. So I guess these are on the chewy side. Balor will be very happy. He's happy regardless. And the next one, oh. Oh. Big game bites because it's football themed. So it's pork because that's football. Okay, whatever. It says big game bites, pig skin puffs. Um, and these are crunchy because they're obviously chicharrones or something like that. I don't know. Um, so these are made with dehydrated dehydrated ground potato, rice flour, tapioca starch, co coconut glycerin, cheese powder, pork meal, pork, salt, canola oil, um, lactic acid, popcorn flavor, natural smoke flavor, and mixed tocopherols, whatever that is again. Um, so these have, again, another dairy product in them, which is, I think, it's not an issue, it's just interesting. Um, and popcorn flavor? I don't know what that... How do they get the popcorn flavor? Because isn't that just like butter and salt? I don't know. Whatever. So yeah, and then like the... It has a bunch of stuff written down for dogs and stuff. And talk about football for dogs. I don't know. I don't know if these are the different options. If people get different toys each month that doesn't make sense financially is that how they do it i don't know i don't know i'm so tired okay so do you want to try some treats now i think we're going to try these ones but i don't want to give you too many i just want you to know how good they are and that it's going to be worth getting your toenails trimmed huh because that's what we need to do we need to give you treats so we can trim your toenails if someone doesn't like having their toes touched they're big. These are big. You want to give Humphrey one too? We'll give Humphrey one if he's, he's just chewing on that thing. That ball. The yellow one. He's very content. Okay, Bella, come here. Come here. Come over here so you can look pretty for the camera. Okay, that works, I guess. But this is big. I want you to have, have it in sections. A nice treat. Yeah, it's big. And it's chewy, but it's hard still. Oh, you're not gonna finish eating it? I don't know. If, I don't think you want to see him eating. Okay, there you go. Now he's gotten into it. Is that a good treat? He likes anything though. No. He'll eat Lilith's poop. Over. <laughs> Over. Come here. Do you want this treat? No, Balor. You just had one. Over. Come here. Bring the toy. Come on. Over. You can't smell us. Over doesn't care about treats. He just wants love and affection. Okay. So. He's eating it. Oh. Come here. He's eating it. It smells like just artificial bacon bits or something like that. Just fake pork product. Um, even though it is real pork. So that's good. Um, so yeah. That's our first experience with the Super Chewer Bark, spot, bark Box, I guess. Um, everyone seems very happy. I think Humphrey's finally smelling the treat. Nope, he's just going for the other toy now. So, um, I will give, like, I think I'm going to try and do it again next month, um, and, like, include an update to see how the toys are lasting, if they had any issues digesting the treats, or what. So, um, Valor, hey. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess that's it for now, and I will see you guys soon.